Hello everybody, it's Chris again. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are in the Skypod. Say hi to my special guest. Skypod! Skypod! We are gonna go in and give you guys the tour today because I wanted to show you guys what we've been busy with or what he's been busy with. And also, more importantly, I'm so excited to look back at this video five, ten years from now to see like, oh my god, ang smart natin, we really thought of this. Or like, oh my god, we're so dumb, why don't we think of this, we need this. What am I excited to see, love? I don't know. I know you don't know what you're about to see. I, I know what I'm about to see. I don't visit the Skypod as much as Slater does. He's here twice a day. But I have visited and I know what's going down. So today I'm gonna show going you guys down. what's going down. This is our parking area. Mm -hmm. mm. This is the amazing wall that Slater is so proud of. So apparently it is a cement wall. Like it's pure cement. But it has wood grain on it. Apparently... This is not very common in the Philippines and it's very hard to do, so Slater's very proud of this wall. And this is our parking space. And this is Slater looking at me and judging me. We are gonna go through the main door. This is light block. This is light block. This is amazing actually because our house is being built using light block and it came up so fast guys I'm not even kidding you know usually houses take about two to three years to build we're trying to finish ours in less than a year and of course we're using Slater's light block so I think we can do it so get it on the line. welcome to my crib guys <laughs> feel free to look around <laughs> so fun. all right this is the main door we don't have a door yet but this is where it's gonna be this will be the living Our sala will be here where Slater is. So behind him is where the TV is gonna be. That's also another wall that he's very proud of. It's like the other one. It's the same thing. What is it called? Board formed wall. Board formed wall. Board formed concrete. This is our bathroom, like our powder room. And yes, there are holes in the walls. He wants it to be fresh air when you poo, so the poo doesn't circulate inside the smell. So the design of the house is very Open. Open. Indoor, outdoor. So you don't quite know where the indoor and outdoor areas are. So it's indoor, outdoor movie, living. With the uh, dining table, dining area. Dining yeah. area, um, sala. Sala, and this is all covered in glass. So. It's all glass, and there's no like wall partition in between the two rooms. Yeah, so you never quite know. If you open all the glass doors, you wouldn't know which one is outside, which one is inside, so that's the feel. So the yeah. finish of the flooring here in the future would be the same finish as the flooring outside. So we're inside right now. The tiles here are going to be all the way extended up to there. So yes. even if there's a wall, like a glass door here, the tiles are still going to go all the way there. If you open the windows up, you don't quite know where the house is going to end. Yes. Something and even like that. that wall extended it towards the outdoor, even if we didn't need that wall. It's just to give the illusion of bigger space. As if you're still inside, even though you're outside and you're still outside even though you're inside mm -hmm. and our ceiling is very very high up so this part here that doesn't have a wall that's gonna be glass right love yeah it's gonna be glass, glass. this is gonna be glass I'm so happy because I love natural light and guys this is my kitchen I'm so excited for it we're actually having everything custom made I don't really cook but you know I will in the future and then if you open this door, you go straight to the pool. The pool okay, has... so this whole thing is like a sliding door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the pool. Jacuzzi and the And so this is the jacuzzi. There's a step here. Uh, should I go down? Yeah, okay, I'll go down. <gasps> You're not allowed to step there. You're joking, you were just here. This is the jacuzzi area. You can sit down here, chill here. The main swimming pool. Ugh. And this is the gym. That's the gym where he is. So if you're working out there, where Slater is, you have a really amazing view of this whole pool area to the outside world. I'm gonna walk you through this pool because guys, I don't think I can even reach the pool. I think I'm gonna drown in my own pool. Look how deep it is. I'm, I'm drowning now. I'm drowning now. The water level is here. Oh my God. Slater made this pool just for himself. So the design of the house is very open, as we keep on saying, but 
The point is to see everyone wherever you are in the house. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I'm working out, I can see the people in the living, I can see the people in the kitchen and the dining area. So vice versa. Every time you go out of your room, you see everyone. So it gives it a better flow. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes everyone closer. Mm -hmm. uh, and so. now we walk through the gym. So we're still trying to decide like what color to paint the wall. This isn't paint, right? This, this is like a is, concrete um, thingy. This is what they call skim coat. Skim coat samples. These are skim coats with color. Okay, so we're trying to decide like what color to paint this wall. It's going to be like a gallery wall. So this is our main hallway to the rooms and we're going to put like picture frames there and stuff. This is the guest room. This is the guest room. Oh, there's paint. Yeah. Ooh, it's white now. And okay. remember when I told you the essence of making a house look classy is to make sure the corners are sharp and straight. Mm. Just that alone will make your house infinitely more refined. I like the lighting in this room. Yeah. So even all the corners here are all straight. Mm. You don't see waves on the walls because it has to be very, very straight. Okay. Because it gives it the cheap feel and there's like waves. Right. So because Slater is an engineer, he's very particular with the things that he wants in this house, which is good because I am not. So it's nice that he's here all the time and he can spot all these little things that need to be like specifically like done in a certain way, yeah. This is what you call a shadow gap. Not everyone uses this. This is a PVC lung. This is paintable. And you use this so that when you put your door jam, there's a gap between the wall and the door jam to give it like a cleaner look. Hey. Even the floors have these. So if you look at it from eye level, the walls feel like as if they're floating a little bit. It's because of the shadow gap. So this is the hallway, right? As you can see, there's a gap from the ceiling to the wall that's also going to be glass so we can let a little natural light shine through into the rooms. So this is your office. Same concept. This is my home office. Um, Woohoo! That's going to be glass as well. So all, all the time there's natural light. Look at this light. This is the bathroom. Even the bathroom has natural light coming in. Yay! This one we didn't finish because we want the tiles for this. Yes, part. I want a white brick wall here. Kids room. The kids room. So uh, hopefully all, we can have three kids. rooms: the guest room, your office, and this one is exactly. Yeah, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the, it's same. exactly the same. So I'm gonna go out now. But this lighting, though. And now we are moving to the master's bedroom. The master's bedroom. But wait, before that, this whole hallway thing, guys, this whole thing will be enclosed in glass, okay? And there's a swimming pool right there, so you can see right so through it. And pool so yeah. There's water here. And there's water there. Everyone there. And you can see everybody here. And this is later. Like a plant. It doesn't like privacy. Like a tree. Just kidding. <laughs> this is gonna be a tree that's gonna cut into the pool. So let me show you real quick. Ah! E! One second, one second. All right, so that little planter here, a plant's gonna be there and it's gonna grow over this area over here to give a little break in the pool. Okay, your turn. When you enter the master's, the bedroom. master's bedroom, this is the view of the mountain. There's going to be a deck there for outdoor. You can do your yoga, your whatever you want to do. It's also all glass. So you only have one wall in the master's bedroom and it's this one where the bed is gonna be in front of. Mm -hmm. And then everything else is glass. glass. And then we've started to install. Oh, we've started to install the ceiling. So the ceiling's oh. gonna be all wood. So Slater chose this color. It's gonna be an all wood ceiling. Oh, it's so pretty. Are you proud of yourself? Nice. I'm proud of you too. This is our bathroom, guys. Sink, sink. Two sinks because, you know, we don't want to fight over. Because we want to, to be in sync. We want to be in sync, okay. And then this is the toilet. This is the toilet. Slater says we aren't going to put a door in the toilet anymore because he wants to avoid putting too many doors. He thinks it's annoying. This is going to be where we're going to shower. Unfortunately, we won't have a bathtub. Because, because... <laughs> The bathtub was supposed to be here, <laughs> but it was invaded by Chris's closet. Yeah, so Slater asked me before building this house what I wanted in our future home, and I said, just give me a big closet and I'm good. Dude, my closet, 
is this entire thing. It's bigger than our bedroom. Yeah, that's why we don't have a bathtub. That's why we don't have a space for a bathtub. But honestly, I have too much things. I need a big storage space. So this is amazing. This is cool. This is enough. <laughs> this is gonna be my vanity. So you can see the plugs there. Those are for my vanity lights. Then we're gonna have wall to wall cabinets. And on the back there, that is where I'm gonna keep all my shoes and my bags. And as you can see, we still have a little bit of natural light peeking through, which I'm really happy about. And now I'm gonna show you Slater's closet. It's not so bad. It's still the world big. Is unfair. It's still big. See? The world is unfair. I don't think you can quite see how big or small it is through the camera, but it's actually not that bad. Are you excited for our house, love? What What are you most excited about? To sleep. To sleep? Why to sleep? It's cozy here. Yeah, it is. And because we're living up in the mountains, it's so much cooler than living in the city. So look at me guys. I'm wearing a turtleneck and I'm wearing pants mainly because there are so many bugs in this area. Bugs. Even if I'm wearing long sleeves and pants, I don't feel as hot as when I'm in the city in my house. Where else? I think that's it. That's our whole house. No. Oh, it's not? Of course not. Oh yeah. Service area. We have the service area. So it's kind of like three different houses connected. So the living area and then the bedrooms and then like the service area. Area. We are going to the service area right now. Kind sir, can you take the camera so I can lose up here? So we are now in the service area. We have a dirty kitchen. Dirty kitchen. Uh, and... I can't enter anymore because of this. You can. So. You can. It's all right. Out. It's fine. Yeah, you can go I'm in. fine here. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm go fine ahead. here. Okay. So, Chris is inside. The dirty kitchen. The dirty kitchen. The dirty kitchen has high ceilings as well. Yeah, it's kind of dark now, even if there's like so much natural light. Because it's still not painted. You can paint it white. It will be lighter. Ah. Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> We are in the dirty kitchen and inside here is our little pantry. So Slater and I don't cook. We don't know what exactly is needed in a clean kitchen, a dirty kitchen, or a pantry. So we're just kind of like winging it. A few days ago, we had to buy cooktops, we had to buy like dishwashers, we had to buy exhaust fans, and we had no idea like what we were looking for, but I'm just crossing my fingers that we chose the right thing. So basically, the house is in, uh, divided into three sections. Mm. So the living area, sleeping area, and the service area. So we're now in the service area. Yeah. The living area and the sleeping area are all like one unit. You can lock the whole place down. And then this is separate from the house. So anyone who's staying here, the house help, the, the cooks, can still operate. Function. Yeah, so this would be storage area, laundry area. The dirty kitchen's there. Dirty and kitchen, the laundry spot. storage. Maze quarters and this whole garden thingy yep. is where we can frolic, frolic. <laughs> and hang our clothes and whatnot. So that is it. That's it. That is it. Ah, so exciting to think we only started building this house when? July. Today is? It is now first week of December and look what we made so far. We? Look what he's made because I, we? I'm just here for the, ah, ah. Can I pass here? Yeah. Okay. It's gonna break, it's gonna break, it's gonna break. Yes, oh my god! Love! Oh my god. Such a bully! But anyway, I'm so excited. I think Seder and I are more excited for the sky pod to finish than for our actual wedding because it's kind of like a new chapter in our lives. We're finally gonna have a space that we can call our own. I'm so excited to take you guys with me as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a thumbs up a comment down below click that bell button subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye Ciao.